Hello, in this assembly programming video, I am going to show you the unconditional loop. If you haven't already done the previous video on the compare instruction, which essentially allows you to, did I say conditional loop? Unconditional loop? If I did, I meant unconditional jump. Okay, so if you haven't already watched the video on compare instruction, recommend that you highly do that and that will essentially show you how to compare a value essentially create some sort of loop and in that if i run it this will run five times and we have this jump to label command so this is a conditional jump which i'm going to co be covering in more depth in the conditional jump video but all you need to know if you don't want to do a conditional jump so this is basically based on you know this condition right here if this condition is you know met basically once ESP hits five, then it will stop you know doing the jumps. But if you basically just don't care about this and you at any given point for whatever reason you want to jump to a label, if you put GJMP, if I run it, what will actually get? It'll take a long time. That's because it's basically hit an infinite loop because there's nothing that prevents the JMP from just you know going crazy essentially. And as you can see, it's printed out printed it out a ridiculous amount of times. So why would this be useful? Imagine if you're doing some sort of comparison, you've hit the comparison and you want to essentially skip a bunch of code. So maybe you've got you know, some code here and you want to skip that and go to the next batch of code. You could have a jump that jumps to that next label. If for some reason that condition is false, for example, you could continue and execute this code. So that's where the unconditional jump would come into use. But like I said, I've got a video covering the compare instruction and a video covering the conditional jump. So check them out. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.